okay so good morning students so <coughs> after yesterday we have discussed about losses of priestess losses in priestess now next chapter is design for flexor okay so in this mainly there are three important theory questions and problem it so first one what is mean by flexor so first one what is mean by flexor so already we know flexor means the action of bending the action of bending okay due to different loads due to different loads which are acted on the member so the action of bending means so there are different types of bendings why because due to similar loads due to different types of loads which are acted on the member the bending of member also will be in different shapes or different shapes so in case simply supported beam has been bent the beam will be bent in one direction in case udl means the beam will bend in some deflection so some with some distance so okay leave it there so the flexor means the action of bending due to different type of loadings so here design of flexor which is a concept which is subjected to different loadings which is acted on the member and the flexor which depends upon which depends upon percentage of reinforcement in section so all of you know the priestess member or reinforced concrete member which will be have some reinforcement reinforcement means bars reinforcement bars in concrete in priestess means uh, tendons or spares wires etc okay so it will be depend upon percentage of reinforcement how much percentage of reinforcement is in section next one bond between tendons on concrete the bond the bond is between the outer force of outer part of concrete and inside tendons the bond between okay the bond between tendons and concrete how the bond will be there if different load has been acted if different loads will be acted if different loads are acted the bond between tendons and concrete should be equal why because the reinforcement the concrete is weak in tension and the steel or tendons are weak in compression so the both bonding should be equal in neutral axis equal at neutral axis next one fc fc ke nadi man compression strength of concrete depend upon compression strength of concrete next one ultimate tensile strength of tendons ultimate tensile strength of tendon so you have will have tensile load mainly the cracks will be formed in the member the cracks will be formed in the member due to load due to some tensile load or particular shear load shear force or some load so mainly mainly the members which are inside in the priestess members the in the priestess concrete or tendons and it will be depend upon ultimate tensile strength ultimate tensile strength okay so this is the design for flexor this is the introduction so flexor is nothing but the action of bending due to different type of loading and mainly the flexors depends upon percentage of reinforcement in section and bond between concrete and tendons and compression strength concrete fck and ultimate tensile strength so this is the introduction part of flexor design for flexor so they can ask they can ask what are the member uh, sorry how the design of flexor will be depend upon at which conditions the design of flexor depends upon so what are the conditions the flexor has been depending means you can write these four points these four points as in percentage of reinforcement in section bond between tendons and concrete and compression strength and ultimate tensile strength so this is the induction for design for flexor okay